my little quarantine friends. How are we all today? Are we all surviving this um, crazy world that we live in right now? I know I am, just barely, hanging on a thread. Uh, so today's video, I haven't done one of these before and I know I've sort of like bumbled my way through um, videos before where I've done tutorials and I'm kind of throwing a load of products at you. Um, but this one specifically, I'm going to tell you about my favourites and these are my favourite top five foundations. So it's a staple in the makeup bag that no doubt most people use. Um, I know some people don't like to wear foundation, but it's kind of one of those things that you can just slap on just to make yourself feel a little bit better before you um, leave the house for whatever reason. And I know the struggle is real when it comes to finding a suitable foundation uh, sometimes. And you can spend so much money going through the shops or searching online, reading reviews, trying to find out the best one. And then it's a case of like trial and error. Um, so I thought I'd let you know what my favourites are and what I use. I use them on myself and I use them on my clients. They're thoroughly tested um, and tried to uh, the uh, maximum. Anyway, so um, I'm going to start with number five and work way up to number one kind of thing. So uh, number five then, um, again, it's not that I don't like it and that's why it's on the bottom because I love all of these. It's just finding one that's, again, suitable for your skin type and my number one is the best one for me. So bear that in mind when you, um, if you do decide to purchase any of these, it's not that it's on the bottom of my list. For any other reason than it's what I like for my skin, you might find that my number five is your number one. Anyhow, right, so my number five, this is the EX1 Invisiwear. And um, the, all of the foundations, actually, I've got them in more or less the lightest shade because I am super pale unless I'm wearing tan. Anyway, so the EX1 Invisiwear, um, this is a online job. I have not found them in stores and I have no idea what stores you can buy them from so if you're looking to buy this this is something that you would buy online if you go directly to um ex1's website this is £12.50 so it's a budget foundation it's not expensive not in the grand scheme of things anyway um because some can be like super expensive can't they Right then, so the good points about this, this is a full coverage foundation and it really is full coverage. So if you've got areas you're concerned about, freckles, acne, whatever, this is great for covering those up. It hides a multitude of sins um, and it's got, the EX1 has got such a great shade range. It's not huge, it's by no means as big as Mark or um, The Ordinary, but it's, it's still a great shade range and this is the lightest and this is a perfect match for me, and I am super pale. Um, it's buildable as well, so even though it's full coverage, if you really wanna slap it on and cake it on, that's absolutely fine, and you can do that if you really want to. Um, it is a fantastic coverage though, so I doubt you'd need to, but you can if you want. Uh, and the good thing about it is that it's non-condogenic, so it doesn't block your pores, it's not going to cause you to break out, not in my experience anyway, and obviously that's what they claim that it does. Um, and again, I agree. Uh, so it's, it's not going to block your pores. It's not going to give you um, a, a fresh breakout of acne, which is great, especially with it being full coverage, because you'd imagine it would cake up and then stick in your pores and then you'd end up with a huge breakout. It's also non-oxidising. So you know that thing sometimes where you buy a great foundation, it looks fantastic in a bottle and it looks fantastic when you put it on your face. But after a couple of hours, even half an hour sometimes, it starts to oxidise when um, it that's obviously when it's been exposed to oxygen and they can start going orange um, and then you kind of like well that suited me two seconds ago so uh, this does not do that it's non-oxidizing so you wouldn't get that you wouldn't get that problem um, it's also fragrance and oil free as well so it's good for sensitive skin if you're allergic to some chemicals that they put in it um, for the fragrance for example then um, this hasn't got that. And with it being oil free as well, if you do suffer with oily skin, this is gonna be great for you um, because it's oil free. So yeah, suitable for all skin types. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which is fantastic nowadays because there are still some beauty brands out there that uh, test on animals and some that aren't vegan as well. So you kind of, um, people that adopt that lifestyle or that are looking to buy cruelty free products, can sometimes have a struggle to get something that's really decent. But this, 
this is this is both vegan and cruelty free so that's another fantastic reason to buy it it's also paraben free so you're not having to worry about any nasty chemicals damaging your skin um it's also it's it's been used by loads of celebrities uh, i mean cardi b and Adele, for instance they both use this foundation and it's kind of like a one that's recently been discovered so um it's it, I, I mean i first heard about it about four or five months ago so uh, it's relatively new to me and i didn't realize that it was sort of like an a-list thing but if they're using it it's got to be good for us so that's the ex1 in visiwear um, I will link all these foundations uh, at the end of my post in the comments so that you can check them out for yourselves if you want to. So that's the EX1 in Busywear, that's my number five. Uh, so my number four then, it's an oldie but it's a goodie, it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Uh, this is a favourite and if you've been to see me before for your makeup, this is probably what I've used on you because it's so versatile and suits all skin types. I can literally put it on anybody and it will work. Um, it's again non condogenic so it's not going to block your pores which is another good reason to use it on like a vast variety of skin types because i don't know if somebody's going to be spot prone or whatever they they, they might not even know themselves because you know for whatever reason they might not wear makeup very often or whatnot so um it, it's a good one to use for that so for acne prone skin especially um i would i would recommend this and i am acne prone and this is the first sort of like expensive foundation that I bought for myself and I was dubious at the time but I've read so many good reviews on it I thought I'm going to give it a go and I'm glad that I did. Now this is this is quite expensive it's £27 from the MAC website and there's always a delivery charge but uh, again if you google it then you might be able to find it somewhere cheaper. I know that the outlet in South Normanton, the East Midlands outlet, they've got a shop there um, I think it's a the beauty, no, not the beauty outlet. It's an, it's another one anyway. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It sells all like top end stuff, uh, but they they have it in there. The only thing is the most popular shade, which is the NC15, which is what I use, is never in stock. So I've been lucky when I've got it from there in the past. But because it's an outlet, it's always a little bit cheaper. So it's always worth having a look. Um, again, because it's Mac. It's got a huge shade range, MAC Cater for so many different skin tones. It's incredible. Um, and sometimes it can be hard to figure out. But um, a little tip for MAC is that they kind of they do like an NC or an NW. Now the C is for cool and the W is for warm. So in a normal world, um, warm skin tones are uh, yellow and cool skin tones are pink. But it's the opposite way with MAC. So with MAC, an NC will be cool, which is yellow, and NW will be warm, which is pink. So when you normally buy foundations from anywhere else, it's the other way around. So that's something to remember. Uh, but they do cater for all the different skin tones. Um, I go with the NC15. Yellow tones seem to suit most people. But if you've kind of got like um, a really rosy complexion, then you're going to be looking to want uh, more of a, a warm uh, where max concerned anyway a more warm um foundation so that's something to remember uh with them now this is also a, a lightweight foundation so whilst it's full coverage i didn't mention that it is full coverage well it's kind of like medium to full so it's buildable you can start with a nice like sort of medium coverage and build it up um as you go along and um but it's a lightweight formula so it's not going to go cakey on your skin it doesn't feel heavy it's just sort of like a nice and it's a nice natural looking um foundation as well the way it sort of fits to your skin and it, it claims to be pore refining as well you guys know how i feel about pores but um this can kind of like help to conceal them if you will uh whether it actually refines them or not who knows uh, it's breathable as well as being sort of like non-comedogenic. Obviously, it doesn't block your pores, so it's breathable. So you're not going to keep any sort of sweat or oil stuck in your skin, which is going to lead to breakouts or, you know, bad bad skin. Um, and uh, it is oil-free, but it's hydrating as well. So I know those two things probably don't sound like they go together, but they do. It's oil-free, so it's not going to cause you to be super oily, but it is hydrating. So it's going to keep your skin nice and soft. And they claim that that's um like an eight hour thing but uh i don't know from wearing it myself i never find that it sort of goes dry or anything like that it, it lasts for entire an entire day and obviously my clients will come sometimes in the morning to have the makeup done for the evening and they have never had any complaints 
So uh, that's a great one. It's also um, SPF 15 as well, which is good. Uh, sunscreen on your face, well, on your body, but on your face especially, is hugely important um, to prevent, you know, obvious, the obvious skin cancer and um, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation in your skin. Um, you know how you notice that your freckles come out massively in the summer? And it's just all pigmentation in your skin, which is brought out um, by being in the sun. So in SPF, wearing an SPF, especially in your foundation, is always advised and it's good for helping the pigmentation. So that's that's that, the Max Studio Fix Fluid, uh, 27 quid, definitely worth the money. Um, but again, shop about and see if you can get it cheaper. Right, number three is um, a foundation you might have heard me talk about before. It's the Ordinary uh, Coverage Foundation. Uh, again, the Ordinary are um, a relatively new brand. Um, I've seen them for the last, I don't know, about a year. Um, I've heard of them, uh, but they are relatively new and not many people know about them. Now, this, this foundation, whilst it's quite small, so there's uh, only 30 mils, it is actually 30 mils, the same as the MAC. So it looks small, but it's the same size as most foundations, but it's £5.90. It's the cheapest foundation I've ever used, seen, tried, value for every single penny that you pay for it it's, it's phenomenal it's really good i know that you're probably wondering why it's not my number one but you'll find that out later um the ordinary have a great shade range as well it's it's very similar to the mac where they cater for yellow and pink skin tones as well they also have three shades that um are either an s or a g which is silver and gold and the silver and gold um, are metallic pigments that give you sort of like a highlighted look so if you want something a bit more jazzy then you can opt for the s or the g um, on top of p for pink and y for yellow yellow is um warm in normal terms and p is, is cool in normal terms not like the mac uh, but you can it's very self-explanatory so you can figure out whether you want in pink tones or yellow tones um, it, this is also vegan and cruelty free. That's another great reason to buy it. It's also an SBF 15. So again, another great reason to buy it. And it is also oil free, gluten free and nut free. So if you are super sensitive to um, products on your face, i.e. if you've got allergies to nuts or gluten then you're going to be safe with this and there might be people out there that have that issue of not you know not just eating them but being able to wear them as well and if you're struggling with that I would definitely recommend going for this um, because all that worry is taken away from you. Um, it's suitable for all skin types so whether you've got oily skin or dry skin it's going to be good for you Always remember though to prime accordingly to your skin type because that will help the way the foundation goes on massively. Um, it's full coverage and buildable. So you can, I mean, it says it's full coverage, but I would say it's probably a medium to full coverage because you can build it. If you just put one layer on, it's gonna look quite, you know, sort of like medium-ish, sheer-ish, um, unless you sort of like, you know put a couple of layers on and that doesn't make it cakey um it it's just a case of smoothing out what you've got on there and building it up till you've got the level of coverage you want but it's a lightweight very blendable formula so like i say you don't have to worry about it being um cakey on the skin even though you're having to sort of like build it up and it's very natural looking as well so it doesn't look like you've got a ton on your face um, the Ordinary also do a serum foundation. If you're looking for something a bit sheerer, um, you want something a bit lighter, they do the, the serum foundation, especially if you've got really dry or aging skin, uh, the serum foundation will be good for you. It's not one that I've personally tried. I've just heard good things about it. So um, that's why it hasn't made the list. Uh, but that's one to consider if you don't want something quite as full coverage as the coverage one from The Ordinary. But for £5.90, it's an absolute bargain. And I think even if you just want to try it, you might as well for a fiver. So yeah, The Ordinary, 
Right, my number two is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is the most expensive foundation on my list. It's £35 from the NARS website. Again, shop about online, see if you can find it a bit cheaper. I think this one was relatively cheaper because I bought it from uh, lookfantastic.com, which you've heard me mention quite a lot um, because you can get sort of like discounts on most um, makeup items that they sell. Right, uh, NARS, they've got a, a large shade range as well. It's probably a little bit more limited in the sense um, compared to the Ordinary and MAC and whatnot because it doesn't have the sort of like yellow or pink to choose from. Um, but all the shades are quite basic and you can see sort of like what's going to suit you. Like this is one of the palest yellow toned ones. Um, they, they also do a, a, a very pale pink toned one as well. Um, but if you go on the website and you look at the shade, it will tell you what tones are included in that colour. So um, this one is Gobi, uh, but when you go on, on the website, it will tell you that it's got um, yellow tones in it. So you can kind of choose it like that if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, right, it's full coverage, fade, resi fade resistant, transfer resistant, and the longevity is about 16 hours on it, I think, um, which is, is, you know, average. It's good. It claims to last forever in a day. No one's going to leave it on the skin for more than, you know, a day and a night, are they? And it, it's always lasted really well for me. It's always lasted through the day and through the night if I've worn it like that. Um, but yeah, fade resistant, so it still looks as fresh and as vibrant um, in the last hour as it does to the first hour that you've put it on. And I've found that from experience. It doesn't sort of fade off to look patchy or anything like that. It stays really well. Um, and with it being full coverage as well, sometimes you notice that your freckles will start to peek through or some you know blemishes you've got on your face will start to peek through after a few hours with a normal foundation. You don't get that with this. It is full coverage and it does last a long time and it stays on those horrible areas like when you get it sort of patchy on your nose or whatever this does not do that especially if you prime properly and set properly as well um because it's so at full coverage and um you would think it would be heavy it's not it's not heavy it's a breathable weightless formula um that they've they've created and it gives a really smooth skin like finish to it so you don't have to worry about it being super heavy and super cakey to get that full coverage it's another one and you'll find that with all of these on my list they all give it a really nice natural looking finish as opposed to heavy and i think that's really good for one that claims to last for 16 hours as well um it's blendable and it's non-drying, so if you've got horrible sort of dry patches on your face, as long as you're moisturising and priming properly, this foundation will make it seem that you don't have those, which is another thing I like about it, because I do suffer with dry patches myself. So I like the fact that this doesn't do that. It sort of covers that, if you will. Um, and it's it's suitable for all skin types, not just for dry skin as well, but for oily skin. As, uh, and I cannot stress enough, if you are priming properly and setting it properly, it doesn't matter what skin type you have, these foundations I'm recommending will last because I have quite combination skin. So I have areas that are oily and I have areas that are dry. And the foundations that I've, I've tried, those on this list and more, um, will stay on even whether I'm having an oily day or whether I'm having a dry day. That's one of my pet peeves. That's something that I do look to make sure I'm going to get when I'm using a foundation. Um, it contains smoothing fruit extracts as well for optimal radiance. That's where the radiant comes from in the title of it. Um, so it's got things like watermelon and apple extract in it, which are all healthy things that can help promote the radiance so it does look nice and fresh and um you know it brightens your skin up which is great and it contains pigments and minerals that mimic skin tone as well so when you're concerned about color matching and you might get one that's close to you and think oh yeah it's close to my skin tone it'll then when it goes on the skin these pigments and minerals um bounce into action and they give you the closest match to your skin tone as possible, which is good. And I do think that because, I mean, I mix foundations. I always have done. I think it's because I do that with my clients because, you know, you can't buy every single shade. 
so I'll buy the lightest and the darkest of most shades or sort of like a, me a medium one as well and I mix them to find somebody's correct shade so I've always done that but um, with this one this one kind of looks really really light for my skin tone but I can use that and get away with it and it will work and it will mix to match my skin tone which is bizarre um, anyway so yes that's £35. You can buy it direct from NARS website or you can have a shop about and see if you can get it cheaper. Look fantastic, especially. Um, it's one of my favourite places to order from. It, it's, it's my second favourite because it's a higher, heavier coverage than what is my number one, which is the NARS Sheer Glow. Again, it's NARS. I know they're expensive, but you pay for what you get, don't you? This is £33.50 from the NARS website. Cheaper again if you shop elsewhere. Um, it's it's a buildable sheer coverage. And I know that people that like a heavier coverage probably get super frightened of the word sheer, thinking that you're going to have nothing on your face. But it's not like that. I am wearing it now, today. This is the foundation, the NARS Sheer Glow that I'm wearing. And I think it's done a bloody good job of covering up my discrepancies, my blemishes. I've got two like nasty second heads at the moment, one here and one here. They're just sort of sort of like dying down now um, and they're almost gone. But you know how you sort of get that just like look a bit left over where it looks like it's going to scar. It doesn't, but it looks like it's going to. Um, even though this is a sheer coverage foundation, it's still covers it, but it covers it in the most natural looking way. So you can still sort of see um, hints of your freckles peek through and you know your natural sort of skin tone comes through even though you're still getting the coverage which is such a crazy theory that you can cover your skin but it still be um sort of natural looking it's bizarre but it does do that so um that's another that's a great thing about this foundation um and it's buildable, so you can also like build that coverage up just a little bit if you want. But it's still always going to remain sort of natural looking and, um, you know, sort of sheer. Uh, again, because it's NARS, you've got that great shade range like you have with the Radiant Longwear. Um, this shade is Siberia. This is a light shade. It's the lightest. And I also have one of the really dark ones which is this one, and I, I mix the two together to get my shade. That's purely because um, it's easier for me to do that with clients. But if you have a look on the NARS website, you'll be able to find the colour, hopefully, that is right for you, because um, they do give you an indication as to whether it's, like I say, yellow-toned or pink-toned. Um, this contains vitamin C and loads of antioxidants, so it's really good for healthy skin. Um, you know, there's, there's so many things in it that that provide your skin with nutrients that it needs and the powerful antioxidants that it contains protect your skin. They actually protect it against free radicals, you know, pollution and things in the air. So you, you're giving your skin a nice treat as well as wearing a foundation, which let's face it, is just skincare 101, isn't it? Look great and, you know, it be great. Um, it, it gives a nice, smooth, natural looking finish. So it evens out your skin tone. It contains turmeric actually, which helps to even out skin tone. So it sounds a bit weird, turmeric in your foundation, but it works, it evens out your skin tone. And uh, it also contains a lot of glycerin. And glycerin is a great hydrator. And if you've, met, if you've heard me talk about the Nivea Post Shave Balm before, that contains a lot of glycerin and it's that that helps the makeup stick. So you put the Nivea Post Shave Balm on, then you put your foundation on top and it's the glycerin in the Nivea Post Shave Balm that helps the foundation to stick to it. So if you're using that full of glycerin plus a foundation full of glycerin, you're going to be nicely hydrated and it's going to last a long time as well. So you've got two sticky things on top of each other. Not that it feels sticky on your skin. In fact, it doesn't feel sticky. It looks dewy. And you've heard me say so many times, that's my favourite thing right now, is having dewy skin because it looks so nice, especially in the summer. It just looks so fresh and vibrant. Um, I don't like matte coverage, again, especially in the summer. So it's nice to have something that leaves your skin nice and dewy and fresh looking. And that's what this does. It's paraben free as well. So there's no nasty things in it. There's all good stuff in it. Um, I'd say this is best for dry or aging skin. I tend to find that the sheer glow works well on me because I'm getting old <laughs> and on my older clients as well. People that do have aging skin, you know, where you're starting to get fine lines and some, you know, 
dropping of some area, sagging of some areas. Um, it looks nice, it works well, and it helps to make you look and feel a little bit younger, which is nice. Also, if you have dry patches, like I said before, as long as you're priming correctly for your skin type, then you can get foundations to work for you. And I know I've heard some people in the past say that this foundation clings to dry patches. That's most likely you and your skincare routine that's doing that because I have dry patches and I moisturise and prime properly before I use it and it looks brilliant. It actually disguises those dry patches because you get that nice, youthful, dewy appearance. Um, if you want a, a super sheer coverage, which I know a lot of people do, especially if you're trying to sort of like dash out of the house in the morning, you want to go to work, you don't want to look like you've got a full face on, but you want to sort of try and cover blemishes or whatnot. A plat and I know I'm going against everything that anyways are taught and stand for, but apply it with your fingers, clean fingers, obviously. Um, if you put the foundation in your hands and you warm it up between your fingers and apply it like that, um, you sort of want to to press it in rather than sort of rubbing it. You want to pat it. Um, but if you do that, that's the way to get the sheerest, most natural looking um, coverage as opposed to applying it with a beauty blender where it will look a bit more full like I've done today because that's what I wanted, uh, especially being on camera. But if you wanted to just use it for work and you didn't want to look like you had anything on, it is perfect for that. A few drops in your hand, warm up between your fingers and pat on your face, it works wonderfully. One last thing, the only downside, now all the rest have got them apart from this one. This one does not have a pump. And it's disappointing. Nars, I am disappointed with you that there is no pump on this. It is the bane of my life. There's nothing worse than having to smash a glass bottle on the back of your hand to try and get the foundation out is there and all the rest have pumps but uh, you can buy pumps online on ebay or or whatnot that you can pop in there most of the pumps are the size of the mac bottles they're like that and obviously the nars bottle is slightly smaller but you can chop you can chop the end off the pump if i just show you with this one it's covered in foundation obviously but you can take the end off it to make it fit in your bottle as long as the top fits which i'm not sure if it would or not um you're probably better off searching for a nars um i would recommend searching for a nars sheer glow pump if that's what you want but i'm not bothered it's just more money isn't it more plastic so um i just i just use it like that even though it's a bit irritating so anyway there are my top five foundations i hope that's been useful for you um they're all sort of a mixture between top end and budget and it's all about finding one that works best for you and if you're wanting to try cheap ones then the ordinary is perfect if you want to splurge then NARS definitely one of my favorite brands at the moment and I hope that some of the information that I've given you is enough for you to decide whether you want to try it or not I will leave everything linked below so you can go and have a look yourself if you want to um i hope you've enjoyed watching this anyway and i hope everyone's okay i'm so i'm missing work so much it's unreal i'm so bored um but you know i'm running out of things to do like i keep trying to ent entertain myself with makeup or videos or you know gardening or whatever but it all just gets to that point where you think oh, I've, done, I've done that now i've done that already um i just want to get back to work i want to see you guys and i want to paint your beautiful faces and I want to do some art and I can't. And um, following the announcement, I know I updated you all on Facebook, but following the announcement the other day, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that until July. So my diary is open provisionally now for July. Um, if you want to make an appointment, that's absolutely fine. I'm not taking deposits because it's too uncertain. So um, if you want to make a, an appointment, that's fine. You can do. Just get in touch with me and we'll get it booked in the diary for you. Um, fingers crossed we can open then. I don't know if we will. And I'll definitely keep you all updated on that. But take care of yourself, please. And, you know, um, look after you and your own. It's really important right now. Everyone's starting to get back out and go to work and stuff. And it's dead scary. But our economy needs it. We need to... We need to move forward. We need to do something about what's happening. 
um, and just look after yourself as best as you can. Take care and hopefully I shall see you all soon. I'll be back with another video, no doubt. No idea what I'm going to do. Running out of ideas. If you have any, let me know. Comment down below. Other than that, you take care and I'll see you soon.